for this one. If you guys want to turn back, then you'll be able to see what it shows. So like page 154 is where this one's starting at. Okay, so for this one, lesson 14 has more negatives. So the use of never. So what's the sign never? We just learned that one. Never. Never. Okay. So it occurs either before the verb or at the end of the sentence. So in this in the sentence, I never exercise, you can do it two ways. It can be, I exercise never I, or it can be, I never exercise I. And this one has the imaginary line over it with an in. That's why I put in negation or in in parentheses, just so you guys know. So it has the negation over it. So whenever it has that line with the in, what do you do? Do you guys remember? So you're going to be shaking your head and showing the negative. Like, no. So. For this one, how would you sign it? So I exercise, what's exercise? Exercise, <coughs> never, I. Okay, sign that one more time. I exercise, never, I. Okay, now think about if you were actually saying it with the feeling that you would be saying with, oh, I never exercise. So say it in English to yourself, oh, I never exercise, okay? So you're like shaking your head and you're just like, uh-uh, it doesn't happen. So think of that same idea, now sign it with that same attitude, that same inflection. Good. Okay, so it would be, so I exercise, never I. So that's the signs. So I would sign... Okay, so what about I never exercise I? How would you sign that one? Mm -hmm. Good, okay. Okay, so for this one, then the use of none to mean not at all or not. So verbs like have, see, understand, feel, hear, eat, and get are frequently negated with none. So none may occur either before or after the verb, but when it occurs after the verb, the two signs are often blended together in a single smooth movement. So this one is, I haven't seen my friend for a long time. Let me see if I can, I think when I can burn in it, then it. seen my friend for a long time. So friend, so sign the word. So friend, I see none since. Okay, so on this one, then they topicalize the word friend. So this should have a little line with the T over it right there for friend. Okay, so what do you do whenever it's topicalized? There's four things. Okay, so you're going to lean forward, you're going to raise your eyebrows, you're going to hold the last sign, and you're going to pause between the topic and the comment that you make, okay? So friend would be, okay, and then you'd sign the rest of the sentence. So friend, I see none since. Mm -hmm. So I could be like, uh, it's been forever. Or it could just be like six. Okay? So think about how you would say it in English, your intonation, your attitude for that. And I'll sign it in ASL. Okay. Good. You guys are doing good. Wow, I like this. Okay. Okay, negative quantifiers. So none may also be used before a noun to show a zero quantity of the noun. So, in I didn't see any people, okay, so this still has your lovely line over it with an N to show negation, which is your head shake, okay? Then you would say, I see none people I. Go for it. Good, okay. So, I see no people I. Or you could do, I see none, or like, people I. 
What about I bought no clothes? So I buy none clothes I. Good. Pulling out some old signs in this one. Okay. So. You can do it with one hand too, that's more lazy, but technically it's two hands. But I just did one hand, so. Okay. okay, and in this one, nothing is also used to indicate zero quantity. It is used after the verb. Okay, so this whole one is negated, negated, negated. It has the line with the in over it. Okay, so I bought nothing. I buy nothing I. I saw nothing. I see nothing. I. Mm -hmm. So you want to use this one for like this one or this one. And usually with the shape. Or. Mm -hmm. So this is like zero. Like I saw zero quantity of that. So. Okay. And then he feel nothing he for he felt nothing. Okay. What would you do? Do you remember feel? Can you remember the part? Why did I do that? Oh wait. He feel nothing he. So it would be not I at the end. Ah, I can't do it tonight. Don't have the newer version, so I have to keep like converting everything. Okay, negatives. The examples of these, um, there were a couple more through the book, so I didn't want to go through the entire chapter because they just have the same thing like 50 times. So I just picked out a couple. So for this one, I never go to the movies. You'd say, I never go movie I, or I go movie never I. Okay, so how would you sign it? Okay, so where are the signs? So I. Never go. Okay, so make sure you have your thumbs sucked in on go. Go or go to. Sometimes they call it go movie. Or you can do movie here. Movie. 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 I. Okay. Yeah. One of my customers at work had signed it like kind of like to get like a, like and they explained way. it like a movie reel. Oh. And it was one of my deaf customers. So Interesting. I haven't seen it that way. Okay. Um, you don't want to do it here, because this is cheese. Right. So I've seen it here, and then in the book before, then I've seen it this way. But I'm sure there are like okay. many other versions. And because it's like even a similar hand sign, to the, like like hand shape as well, then that could work. I haven't seen it, okay. but it. But I would definitely use it like for that person if they're talking. Yeah. I would use that sign with them. Okay. But in general, the only one I've seen is here, or here. So movie, or movie. So. Okay. Yeah, so it's going to be like, like this is the part that's going back and forth, like the old ones that they have like this, and it just rests on top of your hand here. Mm -hmm. Or it goes on your finger like that. Movie, or movie, I like you did. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, it's good whenever you have other people and they yeah. have it different ways too. But then again, like there's some people that you'll meet and they'll be like, oh no, you definitely do it like this. And then the next person's like, oh no, you only do it this way. And the next person's like, you only do it this way. And the next person says, this, 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 like I understand the concept, it doesn't really matter. So, yeah. So, But yeah, I vary it depending on who I'm signing for or I'm signing with. Yeah. But in I general, know. I would sign it this I've way. Seen this way sign but, a lot of things. Yeah. So, that's good. So, Sometimes, too, like people will sign, and it's more of a home sign. Um, it's just something that in their family that they sign it that way. So it's not necessarily universal for like everyone in California who signs ASL. Um, and then other times, people like 
they're just lazy, so they sign no down here instead of here where I sign it, or up here where you're supposed to, where they have like different hand-shaped like. So you have all the little variations of it, the way that people actually use the language, but a lot of times then there are just like different signs, or it could be a regional sign too, so yeah, there's lots of like variations, so it's good. But you're able to recognize this yeah. one too, so that's even better, so cool. Okay, and then she bought nothing. So this one has the negation with it. She buy nothing. Okay. So, this one is, I didn't improve it all this year. Do you guys know the sign improve? So you're here, and coming up to here. Improves. Improves. So it's kind of like, you start down here, and then you make a jump to here, and you make a jump to here, you keep like getting better. Improve. Improve. Okay? So, I didn't improve it all this year, and it has some negation. So now here, I improve nothing. Okay? And then this last one, there are no monkeys at the zoo, okay? So zoo, you just spell Z-O-O, it, or you can sign there, same sign, have none monkeys, okay? So, okay. Okay, and then the use of nothing. In sentences like the following, nothing has the meaning of a denial of a preceding accusation. The accusation usually has a topic marker. Okay, so this one has a line T over it. That's what our lovely T is for. And then this one has the negation over it, over nothing I. Okay, so I hit boy is the topic. So what do you do for I hit boy? So, okay, where are the signs? I hit boy. Or you can do boy this way. Some people did that way, but I usually say it like this. So I hit boy. Okay, and then the rest of it is nothing I. So the sign that they're using for nothing is this one, nothing, or just this one here, nothing. Okay, like it, it's denial of an accusation, so it's this nothing. Okay. <coughs> okay, so with the topicalization, I hit boy, what do you do? So there's the four things. So you're going to lean forward, raise your eyebrows, <coughs> You hold the last sign and you pause it between the topic and the rest of your sentence. Okay? So I hit boy. Okay? And then you do. Okay? So try that again. Um, I didn't hit the boy. Yeah. Okay, and then in this one, did she break the glass? No, she didn't. Okay, so glass. So for this one, so this is the sign glass. Glass. You're like like tapping your teeth. So this is like, a, like it's made of glass, a pane of glass, glass. But I'm kind of thinking they mean more like a cup. Okay, so let's just sign cup for this one. We're referring to a glass, a cup this way. Okay, so cup. She break, it would be nothing or nothing, she. Okay, so this one is asking a question, okay? So, on this one, what are you going to do for a question? What do we do? Okay, so we lean forward and we raise our eyebrows and we're asking, okay? So, did she break the glass? So, glass she break? Okay, make sure I brought up for all of that part. Okay, and then, okay. So, 